What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Bianconeri Zone for a, a almost, hear me go, Thiago Motta slash half of the Bologna squad. Um, I, is it breaking news? Maybe it's breaking news, but it picked up a lot of steam in the last couple of hours or basically every single source is kind of confirming what maybe was put in, into doubt a couple of days ago saying that, hey, Allegri can still say if he wins the... Or if he gets the Champions League and he wins the Coppa Italia. However, Di Marzio, Nico Shira, every single source came out and said, that's absolutely not the case. And if you watch my latest video uh, on Sunday, I basically said it's the same thing. Because Allegri is saying certain things post-game that you just cannot say if you want to have the same job next season. So the news is that Thiago Motta, it's it's basically set in stone. It only needs to make needs to be made official. He's joining Juve, two-year deal, plus an option. Uh, they're just waiting. They're just waiting until the end of the season. That's basically what it is right now, apparently. Again, it's not 100%. You can never be 100%. Everybody was 100% on Felipe Anderson on the same day, a couple of hours before he got announced to Palmeiras. So it's not set in stone it's not done deal officially but it's very close but what is a spicy news is that we're linked with the entire bologna squad base <laughs> like we are linked with all of them obviously ferguson has a big injury now so we will not go for ferguson uh calafiori is the number one target for the summer or like the player the club wants to bring in asap you know as, as soon as possible as a first signing in the summer um but zirixi Again, being linked with Zirxi, and it's from good sources, not from random sources. You might say, oh, it's Calcio Mercato. It's from Di Marzio, um, saying that Zirxi is still an option. And then if other outlets saying that we're leading the race. Now, you also have some decent sources saying that he's going Arsenal. That Arsenal already offered him a shitload of money. Money we will not offer Zirxi. Uh, what the Italian media is doing, they're basically saying that Zirxi took a big step, he took massive steps, you know, if you watch him in the Belgium League, he took massive steps, what the Italian media is saying, that he's not looking for that Arsenal move right now, he's looking to move with Thiago Motta to continue his development, and to keep growing before, potentially, someday, he will take that jump to, if you want to call it a jump, to the Premier League, you know, as of now, from this Juve to the Premier League, it is a jump, but long term, you never know, that's what the media is saying. That's what the Italian media is banking their hopes on, saying that, or hopes, their news on, saying fate on, saying that, yes, there's there are, there's interest from the Premier League. However, Sirius himself wants to stick with Motta because he knows that he gets the best out of him and he wants him to keep improving. Now, is that true? Is that false? If the money comes on the table for Bologna, we don't have that money. It's completely done and he goes to uh Arsenal or whatever. Then there are also links with oh we can give in, give them Miretti. Maybe they want Nicolucci, maybe they want Facundo Gonzalez, Elin Jr. But there's so many layers to it. Does Elin Jr. wants to go to Bologna? Are we gonna sell Miretti? Like it's it's more complicated than it makes sense. Now on the pitch you will I'll take Sirxi any day of the week right now. I don't care if you keep Vlaovic. Like we play so many games next season, so many, you know, and high level quality games that you need to add more quality and you're going to rotate, obviously, and you can play all of them. You can play all of them, depending on what's happening with Sule, obviously, but you will take Sirxi. Yes, you need to fix that midfield, but we are looking or we are going of the assumption that we need three midfielders and the way we play now, a defensive wing back, whatever, that doesn't exist, but that's how we play right now. If you look at Kostic, because offensively, he offers absolutely nothing. Mota can come in and mix it up a little bit. Like, we don't know what's going to happen, you know? And maybe Mota's like, no, I stick to a, a sort of a 3-5-2, basically. Uh, but we, get, we, we shift a lot, you know, in possession and whatever. Like, I don't know. So maybe he doesn't want three... Well, we have static midfielders right now with Rabio, McKenny, and Locatelli. And with static, I mean on the ball, not so good. Yes, they move. McKenny's not making those runs as he as he usually does. Uh, but yeah, it's it's very static. It's very basic. And maybe Rabio, or maybe maybe uh, Thiago Motto wants something completely different. So maybe we do need only two new midfield signings. Because Fajoli will also be back. So we don't know what's gonna happen. But the links are getting 
more concrete right now. Like they're not, oh, we, we, we like Sirxi or, oh, we like that player or we like that player. It's more than, oh, we just like that player. It's now it's about, we are in for Zirxi, we're in for Calafiori, and the Mota one is basically set in stone. You know, it's it's just a matter of making making it official right now. Now, for Allegri, what does that mean? Uh, yeah, it's the end. Like, we saw that coming from weeks, months ago, basically, that you cannot continue with, with, with this, besides the fact that we have an epic collapse and we're miles off competing. Um... I think everybody acknowledged Inter are much further ahead. You know, they're the better team. You know, I think we can all just accept that right now or, like, just agree on that. However, the development over these three years is sh- shocking. You know, it's it's all over the place. It's one player get better, two gets worse. Then the one player who got better gets worse back again. And the other two maybe, like, it's it's there's nothing in sync. There's nothing we do well. There are a lot of things we do poorly. And the mindset, like it feels like even the players, which is not, I'm not giving them a pass, but the coach always gets sacked when these things happen. The players, it feels like whatever Allegri says to these players, they do not respond to it anymore. They need a fresh start. Some elsewhere, not at the club, not at Juve, and some just a fresh start with the coaching. Because it, it feels like, like I said so many times, it's more of a, a drag like ah oh, i need to do this i need to go back to quote unquote work right now rather than i need to go out there and have fun that's not the case right now nobody's having fun no fan is looking at it and saying yes we can build on that and when he says i like technical players well well skilled players we all do but we're not in that situation right now we might be able to add one or two but on the flip side, you might lose one. So we need something different right now. We need a coach, not just a manager. We need a coach. That's what we need. Is it Mota? Only time will tell. I still prefer other options. I like Mota. I still prefer other options. But if the club makes a decision, you need to stick with it and you need to back it. You need to you need to have patience. We didn't do that with Sadi. We didn't do that with Pirlo. We did it with Allegri. Turned out to be absolutely poor like poor, despite everything off the field, like improvement-wise, on the eye, we do nothing well. Like there's no identity. It's all over the place. You can see it's fluking at times. You can see it's so together with very thin stitches and whatever, like if something breaks, the entire line breaks and everything uh, falls apart. That's how we, we look now after three seasons. And that's an issue. That's an issue that's need, that, that needs to be changed more so than also the players, basically. Um, but yeah, it's it's getting closer to the end of the season and it's getting closer to um, the final countdown, you know, the countdown towards something new for a lot of players, uh, the fans and the club right now. So we will see. We will see. We need to finish still in the, in the top five places and we need to win the Coppa Italia, but that's for a couple of weeks from now. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Like the video, subscribe, let me know in the comments, especially what you think about Zirxi, because a lot of people are kind of iffy on that, and I get why, because they don't think oh, we can all play them, we cannot play them all, but you need backups, and we, we are linked with Milik and Keen out, so let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys, ciao.